Okay, folks, after looking at that thumbnail, you know what I mean, and read that title, you know what we about to do. I'm going to just say it like this. We're going back to the roots, folks. Smothered okra and shrimp. Let's get it. All right, so look, come over here and go over some of these ingredients right here. Listen, you know that's some kind of broth or stock, right? You could just look at that. Look, we got that okra. And if for those of you guys that don't know how to pick the okra, I'm going to show you how you do it. Listen, when you go into your okra, and this goes out to Kenneth Temple. Check this out. You go like this. And it's kind of like when you roll it back and forth, you hear it like making some kind of like barrel seeds or whatever. It's like rolling. When you hear those, you know those are good, right? We got shrimp. I got two different sizes. Look, I got a regular large and I got jumbo. But that's them right there. They've already been cleaned and dried. Then we got paste. You know what? I'm not going to go over everything. Obviously, that's onion, tomato, right? Then I got some seasoning. Listen, the full ingredient list will be down in the description box below. So the first thing I'm getting ready to do is... I'm going to make me myself some room. I've already obviously, you know, diced down my onion. I'm going to go ahead and do my tomatoes and all of that. It's just like a little bit of prep. Okay, so look, I'm going to go ahead and start just dicing down, you know, my tomatoes, right? All right, so what I've been doing is, like I said, I've already cleaned these, right? So what I'm doing is I'm just cutting them down, keeping them about the same size. Didn't really want to bore you guys. Just thought I'd take care of some of this. You know, you can look inside of here. You can see the size I'm doing. I just got a couple of more. All right, look, now that I have this already cut down, what I'm getting ready to do is take these to the sink. I'm gonna rinse this. That's gonna help get rid of some of the sliminess too. Okay, so put a little heat underneath my pan. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by working with this uh, with the shrimp, right? Now this is an infused olive oil. I probably put about a couple of tablespoons of olive oil in there. This is two pounds of shrimp. Remember, I went jumbo and large. This pan is big enough so that I can get full coverage on the bottom with it all, right? So, we just go ahead and get this going. Okay, so look, I'm, it's time for me to go ahead and do my seasoning, right? You don't need a whole lot of time when you know cooking because it's gonna be time to click, flip them over. But look, I keep white pepper in this one, hence this is why this is white, and black pepper in this one, right? This is my meal. I'm getting ready to just put a light zesting, coating, whatever you guys wanna call it, on top of this, and then I'm getting ready to flip. Oh, and I want to put a little bit of salt, right? A generous pinch just over the top. Maybe two, right? We leave it like that. I'll take my tongs, you know what I mean? And then we'll start, you know, giving some of these a flip. You can see when they start turning pink, you know, they're ready. Okay, so I want you guys to pay attention to this. You see that right there? That's the seasoning I put on there and just like the outer shell. But you know, look how that look right there. That's what you want to see. Remember, it doesn't take long for any shrimp to cook, right? I'd say max, probably about two minutes if you want them to be like succulent. So now I just take them all out. I went ahead and washed my bowl. If I hadn't said it already, you guys have been following me for a minute, you know I like to say, you guys got to have that soapy water at the ready, right? I wash my dishes as I go. All right, look at that right there. You hear that? You can see the fine just moving around. That's what you want. So, if you guys got one of them other type of pans, if you don't have one of these, you leave with your onions, right? Just the acid that's inside of the onions that's gonna pick everything up. And so now we starting to build flavor, right? We got that shrimp flavor in the inside already. Look, I just like to give that a little head start. Look at that. It's like bleach white, right, on that onion. Look, when I bring it over here, I'll bring it around so you guys can see. See it starting to pick that up? Ooh wee. Look at that flavor, folks. All right, now we're finna bring the okra to the dance. Look at what we're doing, folks. Where are all my people from down south at? So, after I get this mixed around, you can see it might look like it get a little bit on the slimy side, you know, when you put it in here. But remember, I got a big pan, right? So I wanna get maximum contact on the bottom. Got them onions going. I'm gonna put this lid on the top and I'm gonna let it go for about, I'm gonna say about 15 minutes, you know what I mean? Then I'm gonna probably stir it in about seven to eight minutes, but we just finna let it stay like that, and we finna create something magical, folks. After 15 minutes, this is what we working with. Nice, everything getting soft, it's on its way, right? Now I'm getting ready to go ahead and add my tomatoes. Can you see where we going with it, folks? I'm gonna be using my, look, this is my AP. I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit. You know what I mean? I don't wanna overpower anything. But listen, we wanted to, you know, have them original flavors to it. We want just to replicate something down south, right? 
So once you got it all mixed up here, oh yeah. Now I'm gonna come with my tomato paste. Okay, so you just saw that the tomato paste was there, right? So now we go ahead and add that. Remember, using the right tool for the job, instead of just trying to take it out with a spoon, I want to get it all. Look at that right there. Because when we give you a recipe, we don't want to leave nothing, no man behind. And in this case, since we cook it, no flavor behind. Now I'm finna come with my Creole kick. This is my tool of choice. Any Creole or Cajun seasoning you would like, more so on the Creole side would probably be the way I like to go. You know what I mean? Just to keep this a little bit more on the authentic side, right? Now I'm finna come with my garlic. My garlic always, look, this is the garlic paste. I'm gonna put that right there on top. Now we're getting ready to come with our chicken stock. All right, so let's start introducing that. Hey, I'm gonna tell you a funny little story real quick. I remember one time my mama was making this and when she made it, she made it using some water. And my grandma just happened to look and say, I know you didn't just make that with water. And my mama said, nah, I didn't. And then my granny said, I know you did, because I know we ain't got no chicken stock. I'm gonna put this lid on top, and we're gonna go for about 30 minutes and check it out. Sometimes it depends, it depends. I don't know why it's like that. Sometimes it takes 30 minutes, sometimes it takes 40 minutes. Never no longer than 40. Mm, pardon me, never no longer than 45. So we put this on the top like that. We got a nice little simmer. Now we let it work. All right, folks, let's go ahead and take a look at it. I can tell you this though, I went about 35 minutes and I stirred it a couple of times throughout the cook, right? So I just took out my bay leaves just a second ago. You know what I mean? But this is what you're gonna end up with, right? Now remember we had that shrimp, right? I'm gonna go ahead and add that back and anything that leaked out, we want all of that flavor, folks. Now we add that to the game. Oh, we. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my lid on. I'm just gonna let it cook super slow. You know, really it's just like to warm up my shrimp, right? Just three minutes. All right, so look, now it's the time to get down, right? If you look at that, I'm gonna go ahead and just hit it like this and just pick it up like that. Again, I'm just teasing y'all. You see that right there? That right there is fire. I cooked that, you know, that okra down. Look, we got that flavor in there and all of that. So now I'm just gonna take some of this and just kind of like just run this around like the edge. And I know you guys that have been following me wanna probably asking this question right now, like, hey, he didn't put no andouille sausage in it. For once, I'm gonna just go ahead and go this way and just keep it old school. All right, folks, look, now it's time to get in here and get some of this, right? I really don't know where to begin. I'm gonna go ahead and just take a little bit of this, this rice. Now we finna look for one of these, ah, there we go. We ain't got to look far, you know, look long, right? That's that million dollar spoonful right there. You see that? Mm. Hey, so I'm not finna over talk it for show. Cheers, y'all. Oh. Hey, folks. <laughs> you know, uh, every time I make this, this right here just blows me back. You know what I mean? Uh, just the flavors. And I don't know how to describe it. Listen, you lose a lot of that sliminess, you know, that what usually what runs everybody away from okra. You gotta try it this way. Then if you guys, here's another thing too. You can always just fry your okra and serve, serve them as like a little finger food. They great like that too. You know, with some seasoned flour or some cornmeal to season. You know what I mean? Uh, those work out too. But for this right here, if you do it the way I've done it right here, this puts a whole lot of flavor. I will say, because I'm a meat man, I would have liked to have had you know what I mean? Just in this one particularly, just some andouille sausage. Pardon me. But this right here, uh, <laughs> hey, that's fire. Now, talk to me down in the comment section below. If you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out here, check this out. There's a channel out here to simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And you know what I'm about to do, folks. I'm about to walk off and sit down and give me some Kool-Aid and I'm gonna watch TV. I'm out, folks. Peace.